Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am reviewing the Good Molecules Daily Brightening Serum, which looks like this. Before we begin with today's video, I'd love to welcome everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome. My name is Nadia and I'm a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will list those down below for you. Also, be sure to subscribe if you have yet to subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there's a brand new upload. This is a clear lightweight serum formulated to brighten, even tone that may be used in your morning and your PM skincare routine. You may find this at beautylish.com and she does retail for $9. This serum has some of the best antioxidants, skin replenishing, and skin restoring ingredients. To start, we do see Arbutin listed as the second ingredient within this formula. Arbutin, an antioxidant, can be found in wheat, pears, and blueberries, to name a few. Arbutin is a melanogenesis inhibitor. Arbutin suppresses the activity of tyrosinase and inhibits melanosome maturation. Arbutin also breaks down into hydroquinone. Arbutin may be used as an alternative to help brighten and even tone. We also see licorice extract, a skin soother that may be effective in improving an uneven skin tone as it is a melanogenesis inhibitor. We also see glycerin, a salt form of hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid to help bind moisture to the skin, give it a plumper appearance, and also protect from dehydration, which currently it's really cold out. Depending on your climate, you may be susceptible to dehydration. I I began using the serum on February 1st. My first impressions uh, were that I found this to be slightly thicker than other good molecules formulas. Uh, however, it did not feel heavy over the skin at all. I did not experience a tingle upon application. I also like that this is not sticky at all and it did not have a scent at all. This formula also does not include any essential oils. On February 4th, I noticed that my skin looked somewhat brighter. Although it does take a few seconds to dry, there's nothing that a little tapotment can't fix. On the 6th, I noticed uh, some radiance to the skin by pairing it with the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. I did do a um, toner video, which I will link up above in case you missed it. Out of all of the toners that I spoke of in that video, this toner gives my skin its most radiant, luminous look. I think that if you are personally dealing with dull skin, this is an excellent pairing. There we go. On the 17th, I also noted a brighter, smaller pores uh, and plumper skin because I continued to use it with the niacinamide toner and nightly I was using the overnight exfoliating treatment. I did, towards the butt end of the test, alternate between this and uh, the Drunk Elephant, a Passione Retinol Cream. And it wasn't until I introduced the retinol cream that I did notice that the post-inflammation hyperpigmentation was starting to kind of lift and fade a little bit faster than by just using these two products. I have used a number of brightening serums before. However, this is not my favorite of the bunch, but Considering its price point, I think it's pretty, pretty good uh, to compare it with their uh, discoloration serum, which was one of my favorite products of 2020. The discoloration serum contains tranexamic acid, which is better tolerated by sensitive skin who is dealing with discoloration, including melasma, post-inflammation, hyperpigmentation, scars, and sun damage. I really do enjoy uh, both both formulas, but I slightly enjoy the discoloration correcting serum 
a little bit more because personally I do struggle with uh, sun damage. This serum actually also contains niacinamide within its formula to further improve tone, uh, pores, and uneven tone. I did also do a review on this uh, very, uh, I think, during mid mid 2020 I forget um, but I will link that video up above in case you missed that as well or would kind of like to see my different thoughts uh, when comparing or using these two good molecules products consistency is key when using melanogenesis inhibitors my overall results with this were radiant more even toned skin I definitely liked this when I paired it with the overnight treatment and drunk elephants uh, a passione retinol cream as I felt that it definitely encouraged cell turnover and helped to fade away the post-inflammation hyperpigmentation a lot faster. This plays very very well with others. I did just test this during the day. I did not use this during my nighttime a routine but I did find that this worked very very well with multiple different sunscreens. I wore this under makeup and it is the serum I am wearing under my makeup today and I loved this under makeup. It did not make my skin or my makeup or my face feel heavy at all towards the end of the day um, and it did not interrupt the longevity or, or wear time of my makeup which I really really like. Unfortunately I did not test this at night. During the test I did like I mentioned use this with the overnight exfoliating treatment and drunk elephants a passione retinol cream during the final weeks of my test. So I feel like if you are concerned with dull skin, texture, uneven tone, and post-inflammation hyperpigmentation as well as the signs of aging, the three products that I have mentioned would be a great combo for you. I definitely prefer using the Good Molecules Daily Brightening Serum during the day. Under the Myriad SPF 50, the City Skin SPF 50, that is I feel like my favorite combination. If I am not wearing makeup, I do love a very healthy luminous glow to the skin, so I will pair this with my Super Goop Play Everyday uh, lotion so that will give me the ultimate glow which you all know I love. I would recommend this to anyone with normal combo dry sensitive skin or oily skin as well uh, that are dealing with uneven tone dull dry skin because this gives the skin the slightest radiance after application I feel like oily skin may appreciate this serum for that reason. It doesn't give the skin such an overwhelming glow that it becomes a deal breaker for my oily skinned friends. If you are dealing with sun damage, melasma, I'd recommend the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum or perhaps you can pair the Discoloration Correcting Serum with this as well by using this at night and then using this uh, during the day. If you love this range and are looking to stay within a budget while still, you know, helping you to uh, achieve your skincare goals. A couple of pros here. I absolutely love the fact that this did not break me out or cause any additional uh, congestion over the skin. Love that this is not sticky at all. I know that that can be a deal breaker for some, um, but this is not sticky at all. I love that it's fragrance free and it's cruelty free. It's easy to use and it does not contain any pore or sensitizing ingredients within the formula. I am rating this a nine, I want to say nine to like a 9.5. With Arbutin, you do have to keep this in mind. Um, that it will take a while for you to see results. You must keep in mind that by using melanogenesis inhibitors, uh, consistency and patience are key. You definitely have to use this daily to see results as with anything. 
uh, especially if you are dealing with sun damage, post inflammation, hyperpigmentation, and melasma. To recap, if you are dealing with loads of hyperpigmentation, melasma, definitely recommend this combo. If you are dealing with dull, skin this would be a good combo as well and if you have some textural issues this would be a good combo um, I do plan on, on on doing my good molecules video I have yet to test the hyaluronic acid serum so I don't know if I will include that or not but that is coming soon I just have a lot of things that I want to try so I'm like kind of keep pushing that back I think that's all I have for today's video I definitely enjoyed testing testing this I'm almost halfway through so weird. Thank you all for watching today's video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have yet to subscribe and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. I'm not wearing makeup that it did not Great. <laughs>